we do research in several areas related to business, and one of these areas is sterilization. It turns out a very, to be a very interesting topic. It might have the image of being dull, but it definitely is not. So it's about often about technology, but it's also about people, about processes. You might say uh, paradoxes. So you might say sterilization has to do with uh, freezing a certain solution. By, by definition, it, it has. But it also leads to innovation, for instance, or it leads to flexibility. So management systems are not about technology, but about an entire organization. So how does the organization function? Um, and what are the, here the fascinating things, if you can have standards for management systems, that implies that organizations have something in similar, otherwise it would not be possible to have common standards. So that's the first fascinating thing. And then the next thing is, what could be the content of these standards and how can they be implemented and to what does it lead? Does it lead to too much freezing within the organization? How can this be combined with maintaining or even stimulating uh, creativity, variety, etc.? So that, this is really, uh, really fascinating. It turned out that the motivation of management to implement the standards was the main reason for the difference. So if they implemented in order to really get a better organization, it turned out that they were able to do this. So this suggests that the standard as such indeed is okay. But if they implemented the standard only or mainly to get a certificate, then it turned out to be possible to have a certificate for an organization that doesn't reap internal benefits. The, the difference is in the motivation. Um, in the studies about ISO 9000, we found that um, organizations that, studies that report neutral findings uh, are related to uh, a motivation for the system um, just to, to have the certificate to be in the market or to have a better market position, Some, sometimes even to be allowed to deliver products or services. Um, positive impacts are related to an internal motivation to really use the standards for improvements within the organization. So these findings suggest that the, the standard as such is okay and indeed can be used for real improvements within your organization, but it is also possible to get a certificate for a system that does not really help you, internally at least, externally it helps. Um, and now the difference with ISO 14000, the first difference is in the number of companies, so for ISO 9000 it, the number is I think about 10 times uh, the number compared with uh, um, ISO 14000, so much more, and the, in particular in, in China, China and uh, India. So companies that need, and also in, in southern Europe, Italy for instance, uh, companies that need the certificate in order to be allowed to export. Um, in ISO 14000, I guess there is more internal motivation, though external pressure also plays a role. It's a combination, but probably there is more motivation to really do something, to really improve something. And then it's indeed possible to do that, not only in the environmental field, but it also leads to business improvements. What will be the future of standards? Well, what, what we can observe is that at least the importance of standards is is growing and the main reason is that everything gets interconnected to everything. We have a global market increasingly, technologies but also services get interconnected and that means that you need interfaces, specifications of inter interfaces, that you need being clear about quality, about safety, about all kinds of issues for which you can have standards but for which you also really need standards. So in that sense, an increasing standardization 
Um, what we also can see is an, a proliferation in who is preparing standards. Consortia are getting more market share. First in I ICT, now also in other sectors. Also leading to a, <coughs> to a mess of standards. So in fact, there is a need for one central coordination of, of standards development. So if ISO was not there, it should be reinvented. Um.